One day, when I was living in Tanzania, I was walking along a path near Iringa, and we saw a man who was walking towards us who was clearly distressed. We asked him what the problem was. He was very upset, telling us that his daughter had gone missing that morning and that he didn't know where she'd gone, although he had a very good idea about what was probably going to happen to her. We tried to comfort him, but he just became more and more distressed as he spoke, thinking about what was happening to his daughter right at that very moment. He thought that she'd probably most likely left for a city, such as Dar es Salaam, to become a house girl. He understood some of the problems that she would face, and that it was likely that she would be abused and paid, and that there was a very good chance that she would become HIV positive. And he also realised that he would quite possibly never see her again. Tanzania, a beautiful country of great contrasts where new technology and traditional ways are struggling to come to terms with each other. Where the hustle and bustle of life in big towns and cities contrasts sharply with the hardships and poverty of rural living. This is a primary school in rural central Tanzania. Primary education in Tanzania is free and compulsory. To this group of primary school children, how many do you think will go on to secondary school? Surprised? For us it's so hard to imagine that a child has to struggle to go to secondary school. For us it's, it's compulsory. Um, there's not even a choice in the matter and here children struggle to get there. Education was the only way that was going to break the cycle of poverty that people were living in. In 2003, SEED became a registered charity. Its aim was to find sponsors to enable children to receive an education, to support primary and secondary schools, and to give life-changing and life-enhancing opportunities to families trapped in the poverty cycle. Without you, you could not afford to go to, sc to school. Please help, help others like me. When you can get your education, your life changes and you can help others in your community. So thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks, CD, for sponsoring me. Hi, everyone. Thank you for sponsoring us at school. Education eh, is liberation. That's our thing. Education is liberation. If you're thinking of sponsoring a child and you're not sure whether it's the right thing to do, I would really encourage you to think seriously about it. If you want to know any more details, I'd encourage you to phone to speak to one of us that works for SEED in this country um, and we will be able to go through any of the details with you. Sponsoring a child makes a huge difference to that child's life. You can change somebody's life and you will know that changing that child's life will change that child's family's life and will help to change the community. You can be part of changing the cycle of poverty that exists in Tanzania at the moment.